Nothing is going to make these dog days of Madden more fun than having an explosive deep passing attack that is off meta and that not everyone and their mother is running. So the perfect offense for this will be this Brett Favre era Packers scheme from their insane run in the mid to late 90s. They made two Super Bowls winning one and Brett Favre won three straight MVPs from 95 to 97. In this video, we'll dive into the key principles of their offense, set up to attack like this explosive Packers offense and go over the main stars of this scheme that made them so tough to stop. The Green Bay Packers of the Favre era used I-form formations featuring a fullback and running back behind the QB and this was key for their downhill running game and play action pass game they would utilize once they set it up. Conversely, they employed shotgun formations often with three wide receivers on the field. This allowed for an explosive downfield passing game and this blend of formations kept defenses guessing and underscored the versatility of this pass. Packers offense. And to replicate this, we're going to be using these three formations in the West Coast playbook. Then this is actually all a part of a bigger scheme I'm creating where I break down five offenses from the NFL's golden era from the mid 80s to the late 90s. And each of these will be run out of the West Coast playbook so they can all be used together. And the playlist for the whole scheme will be down in the description. When Mike Holmgren was hired from the San Francisco 49ers to the Green Bay Packers, he brought the West Coast offense along with him. And this offense utilized quick release throws in a horizontal passing scheme, fitting perfectly with Brett Favre's skill set. His adaptation of the West Coast principles allowed the Packers to exploit defenses, opening lanes for receivers, and this relied on Favre's quick release and timing with his wideouts. The Packers' application of this system under Holmgren's guidance was a key factor in adding structure to the offense because Brett Favre was a gunslinger who could get wild. The first pass play we are looking at is spot smash in gun doubles and here are the reads and adjustments for this play. This is an amazing zone beater where we can work the sideline corner out to one side of the field, but also have a spot concept triangle read to the short side, giving us a ton of easy options to attack zone coverage. The first place we want to look is the short side to this triangle read and focus on the flat defender on this side. If he bites down on the spot route or the running back in the flat, then we can fire in this corner route along the sideline once he clears the deep third defender on that side. Then if the flat bites down on the running back and the corner route is covered by that deep blue defender. Then we want to look to the spot route and if the linebacker stays pinned inside then we can drop it down to the spot route and let him make a play with the ball in his hands. Then lastly on this side if the spot is taken away and the flat is getting under the corner then just check it down to the running back in the flat underneath. Then if post snap we don't like the spot route side then we can look to the wide side to the corner route and here the deep blue defender should get pulled back from the streak route and you can drop it in along this sideline for a big pick. Up. For a coaching tip on this play, make sure you motion the outside wide receiver in. This will create a tight look and now when he runs up field, it will help keep that deep blue defender inside allowing this corner route to get open in along the sideline. Then Robert Brooks and Antonio Freeman were Favre's go-to receivers in this era and they were critical to the Packers offense and they really fit the West Coast system. Their precision and route running speed and ability to make plays in open spaces perfectly suited this style of play and they had the hand and athleticism to turn short receptions into big gains, helping to balance the field and extend drives, proving themselves to be invaluable to the Packers' offensive success. And our two main wideouts we have here are Jerry Rice and Andre Rison, who both have the ability to run routes and get open, but also have the speed to turn on the Jets and make plays down the field. Then on both of these players, I'm using route tech to make sure we can separate from man coverage consistently. The next play we are looking at is deep outs in gun doubles, and here are the reads and adjustments for this play. This is an excellent play, especially versus cover three, and we want to play in rhythm, and as soon as you hit the back of your drop, you want to get this ball out, and you can attack the sideline or up the seam on this play for nice pickups. First here, we want to check the safety, and if we have single high, then we want to look to the sideline, and we will have these deep out routes, and as soon as they cut towards the sideline, you want to release this ball, and you want to make sure you pass lead it away from the corner, who's going to be breaking down, and you can get some really nice gains. You can work either side of the field, with these deep outs and you are going to see the flat defender in cover three will get caught inside and he won't actually break out till your receiver breaks so it can just be pitch and catch for easy throws along the sideline. Next we can work inside to the seam route from our running back and he's going to get in behind the hooks and as long as the user stays down you can drop it up this seam and keep it in front of the safety for a really nice pickup. Then if the seam and sideline are taken away for a check down on this play we'll have the two hooks from our slot and our tight end and you 
can just go to whichever one the linebackers aren't covering for an easy gain. Then if they do surprise you and switch to man coverage, then our tight end is actually going to be an option route. And versus man coverage, he will break to the sideline and get really nice separation. And this is a really nice safety option here. The Packers explosive downfield passing game was a signature of their offense during the Brett Favre era in the 90s. Favre, a three-time MVP, and he was renowned for having one of the most potent arms in NFL history. And he was the perfect fit for this high octane style of play. His ability to accurately and powerfully deliver the football deep down the field to put constant pressure on opposing secondaries and this kept defenses honest. Farr's fearless approach to the deep passing game brought an excitement and unpredictability to the Packers offense. Whether launching a 50 yard bomb down the field or threading the needle between multiple defenders putting the football on a rope, Farr's arm strength and aggressive mentality led to numerous big plays and kept defenses perpetually on their heels. Next we are looking at fade HB wheel in gun doubles and here are the adjustments for this play. This is an amazing deep shot versus cover two and cover three and once again make sure you motion the outside wide receiver on the short side in. Then we'll have this fade route getting deep down the field on the short side and the running back getting deep on the other side of the field than the tight end and the flats and this is going to give us one of the best most explosive deep shots in all of Madden 23. Now the first route we have here is the slot fade and against cover three you will see the deep third defender gets pulled inside by the streak route the slot fade will get up in behind him and the corner will not turn and run with this outside fade player and you can pass lead this up and down the field and bomb them over the top for an absolutely huge gain. Then against cover two you'll see the slot fade will get a free release down the field and now the deep half will get held inside by the streak route and once again this fade will just be wide open for an absolute bomb down the field. Then you can also work the other side of the field and we will have this running back wheel out of the backfield and here the streak will run off the deep blue defender the flat defender will stay shallow and you can drop it in between them for a really big pickup to your running back down the field. Then lastly for a check down on this play we will have the tight end in the flats and if the flat defender on that side is staying back you can drop it down to your tight end rack catch it and let it make a play in the open field. Then to replicate this aggressive downfield approach in Madden at my QB I'm using the John Elway ultimate legend card. He is the perfect mix of pinpoint accuracy to put the ball in the perfect spots and arm strength to push the ball down the field. Then I'm using Hot Route Master on him just to give you more creativity on offense, though you definitely don't need it. Next, we're looking at PA Post Shot in I Form Week Close, and here are the adjustments for this play. Now, this play is going to be my go to man beater for this offense with an amazing deep shot, then an intermediate option, and something shallow over to the middle to make this one of the best man beaters in all of Madden. Here, the go to route will be this unique motioned over post route, and at the line, he has this outside release that will force the DB to be flat footed and he will fire past him up the field versus man coverage and he will be wide open for huge pickups down the field. Now this is going to happen basically every time and once you get the timing down it will lead just to an insane amount of explosive gains. Then for other routes here we have our tight end on a trail route and as he breaks over the middle he will get great separation and is a great kind of check down underneath option. Then we are also going to have a deep cross from our other wide out and if that motioned over route isn't open then this guy will break free down the field and is another really good option to push the ball down the field. In this Brett Favre era, the Packers leveraged a power run game to balance their potent passing attack. This tactic kept defenses honest and allowed them to be a complete offense. In our Madden scheme, we are going to employ two different runners, a power running back in Emmett Smith for under center formations. This will help us establish the running, get us those hard yards up the middle. Then we're going to have a smaller back in Travis Etienne who brings speed and pass catching ability to our shot on sets and this will create mismatches and exploit opportunities in the pass game. This dual threat ability will echo the Packers successful offensive tactics from the 90s ensuring our offense remains versatile and unpredictable. The first run we're going to look at here is counter weak and I form weak slot. This is a great counter and is an amazingly explosive run play and when the blocking hits right we can be sprung for absolutely huge pickups and this is one of the more explosive runs I have used all year. First we'll fake to the tight end side then counter out the other way with our guard and our fullback out in front and we want to run with patience and wait for our blocks and then once they engage explode out from behind them and get into the open field and make some big plays with the ball in your hands. Then our second run is going to be HP quick base in gun doubles. This is going to give us another really solid option out of our shotgun looks and we can use this to keep defenses honest and pick up 
some really nice gains on the ground. With this run, we're going to have a quick pull from our guard, and we want to let him get out in front and follow him up through the hole. And once he engages, explode out from under him once again, and you want to get into the open field and become a playmaker and make some big plays in the open field. Then if you want to take this offense to the next level, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Up right now is part two of this video, where I'll give you seven more plays out of this Packers offense to allow you to make this into a complete offensive scheme with the ability to attack and take advantage of any defensive look that you come up against. And then there's already a ton more up on the site for the rest of this golden era scheme. Then also on the site are all my past schemes like my NCAA spread offense and my LOB Seahawks defense and a ton more. Also on the site, you can get access to my playbooks, which are full written breakdowns for my schemes. And I have five out so far with my newest being my Pats offense that is 64 pages long. And this will take your game to the next level. And then next week, the playbook for this golden era scheme will be dropping. So if you want to check out Scheme Kings, the link for it will be down in the description below. The play action pass game was a critical component to the Packers offensive success during the Brett Favre era. Capitalizing on the potent run game, play action passes kept defenses on their toes and opened up opportunities for explosive plays downfield. Favre's rocket arm was on full display during these play action plays where he could use the threat of the run to create space and then launch deep game changing passes. Then our big play action play here is going to be PA counter waggle in I form weak slot flex and here are the adjustments for this play. This is going to be a great play action play to work off our counter runs and we want to try to pull down the user and linebackers and we're going to have two routes attacking deeper down the field and a really nice check down option making this a great play action play for this Packers O. Now first after the play action I want to look to this vertical route from our fullback and he will get up the field and sneak in behind the linebackers and if they stay shallow you can drop it in over their head for a really nice pickup to our fullback. Then if the user or hooks are sitting on that fullback vert route then we have this deep cross going across the field and the deep blue defender on that side should be getting pulled back and you can fire this in along the sideline for a really nice pickup. Then lastly if both the deeper routes are covered we have this drag going across the field to the flats and this will be our check down on this play and our third option. Now this offense is going to be amazing but you can also pair it with another dominant scheme from this time with my 90s Broncos dynamic wide zone offense. It is also in the West Coast playbook like this Packers scheme so you can combine them together to become unstoppable. If you want to check out that Broncos wide zone offense and you need to watch this video right here.